Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest the Ravenwing Pack where apparently it's time for the newborn elk and mule deer fawns to be born. Let's woof these guys back in the den though for just a second because I want to make sure nothing's lurking. That's actually quite handy though that the uh, calves and fawns are available. Oh and they were started to eat that meat chunk. That's right. They'll be able to do that now. But the reason that's going to be especially handy is because we're leaving this den. I am very sick of it. It has 71% flea load. I'm suffering. <laughs> we're leaving. Uh, I think Cassie has gotten to the point of saying, okay, we're done. The itching is inopportune and I'm not dealing with this anymore. Um, it's especially with everything that's happened. There's too many, too many memories surrounding it as well. Too much frustration. We're probably going to move. So the rendezvous site that I'm thinking we might use is over in the in between the two dens on the left there uh not by saddle meadows that the one that's down kind of in that little nook uh in first meadow so i think we're gonna move to the den that's near it so we're just gonna go diagonally uh southwest across sandy slopes there i think that's what we're gonna do um i want to make sure nothing's gonna jump us here and we will let the pups eat but other than that, I think uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, the other thing we need to be aware of is some of the territory is starting to fade. So we will have to deal with that in a little bit. Ah, oh, we're itching again. No, I'm done with this. I'm very, very done with this. We're not going to stay at this den. Uh, I think Cassia is incredibly ready to move on here. Um... We will go ahead and move to a new den. Some of the pups do need to eat, but it's fine. We also have grass right here if something does happen. Now, the one thing that's not so great about this is that the pups are still in eagle grabbing range, and that's not ideal. Uh, it's definitely something that we need to be careful of because there are a lot of eagles in the open here. I don't know if they're active yet in the day. I think some of them uh, will show up a little earlier, but or a little bit later on. But now that the pups are uh, all have eaten that meat chunk and all of them are fed, we're gonna set out and get going. Hopefully, it will not take us too long to get down there because I am very ready to be done with the fleas. Oh, that's actually perfect. There's a moose and her calf over here. We do need to avoid them, but we're quite close to the new den. It's actually just over here. I think it's like right over this ridge, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have a nice snack that we're able to come back and get. Uh, that'll be good because if we... Oh. Why are you hiding? Why are you guys hiding, guys? Why is everybody hiding? I didn't woof. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's keep moving. They might be a little scared of the moose. Come on, y'all. Okay, everybody is moving. Yeah, I think they just got a little bit spooked by the moose. But we'll go over here. We will head right down to the den. I think it's right over here. Yes, everybody's moving with us again. And we should be able to just pop on over there for a hunt after we get settled in. Is it right here, I think? Yes, I see it down there. It's another dirt den. So, oh, goodness, Journey, be careful. The pups are probably falling over left and right. They're still getting used to their legs, not used to walking quite this far. But we will go ahead. We'll claim this den. Uh, once the pups get here, we're just waiting on Thicket, who's getting here. There we go. It is another open den, unfortunately, but we will accept it. And we'll go ahead. We'll dig it out. Look at all that dirt in the sunlight. Oh, my goodness. We're really emptying it out here. And uh, we're going to go ahead, we will name it when it gives us the option too. I think we're just going to call it Lower Slopes. There we go. Lower Slopes Den. And this will be our new home. There we are. Now, I think I'm going to woof the pups in the den here just so that we can go ahead and do that hunt because I want to make sure we get that done quickly. We're going to have a lot of ground to cover today. Are we? We're now in this one, which is probably good because I think you can see the rendezvous site from here. It's right down there. It's that tree. Uh, I think we are going to want to claim some new territory. So we're going to have to come down here and fight Junction Butte for it. Uh, we can kind of ignore these ones up here, which is actually a lot of the ones that are fading now. So that kind of works out. Um, but we'll go ahead. We'll hide the den so we can see where we're at. Uh, let's have Ton come with us over here. Oh, you... No, that's a raven, I think. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. We actually like you. 
but we'll go ahead, we'll whine. We're just gonna pop right over the hill over here because it's moose calf time. Where's this moose calf? Right up here. Lovely, perfect little snack. Ooh. Except if the mother smacks us, Oop, which she's probably gonna do. <laughs> yep, she got us there. Now it's on the run though. We should be able to go after it. We just have to be a little bit mindful because if it stops running, the mother could very easily kick us. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I'm being a little bit more reckless here than I should, especially with the injury update. Oh, but if she gets ahead of the calf, that's perfect. I think we can actually take it down now. Come on. There we go. She should stop over there and we'll just bring it. Ton, 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 we need to bring that back to the pups. Really, sir? Really, sir? Oh my goodness. Can I? It's just gone now, isn't it? Sir. All right, you get to go babysit then. I'm gonna go find food for the pups. Aha, uh -huh, okay, this isn't all bad. There's an elk mother over here in a pretty wide open area, so it shouldn't be hard to find the grass patches we need to check. I'm gonna try to find this elk calf and then we'll bring that back because, oh, right here, uh, because Ton decided he was gonna eat the pup's lunch. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the den here with some food for the pups. <laughs> I guess Ton must have just been very hungry, but it's just... It's so much better to bring the food back for the pups. You can always go... Like, he can come with me and find more. He can go off by himself and find more. So I think... I think Cassia is a slight bit frustrated because it wasn't practical. That's not <laughs> not practical what he did. But in the end, no real harm done. The pups will still get to eat. It's fine. We'll get enough food and we'll find food for ourselves here in a bit too. Uh, now we do need to go do that territory claiming. I'm mostly just going to let this area decay and focus on this today, I think. But uh, I don't uh, I don't mind if we have to... I don't, I don't mind if we have to go fight with Junction Butte a little bit today. We'll, we'll probably bring Ton with us for that purpose. Because, and I think these guys are now fed. Yes. Is Finch well fed enough? Yes. All right. So we'll play with them a little bit more. We'll send them in the den. And then we'll get a move on. Oh, there's a baby here. Might as well grab it. Uh, I guess we'll take that with us. Is it a mule deer? I think so. It has to be because it's so small. Yeah, that's definitely a mule deer. Well, we got a snack for the road, at least, it seems. We're just headed down this way to mark some of this territory. Uh, there's a couple of ones that need marking down here, so we're going to do that. We're going to claim them, and then we'll head back to our den and to the pups. Oh, there's the den that's back here. I knew there was one in this area. It's down in this hex. I thought it was up more, but it's not. Um, well, let's make a scent post first. Um, that's where it is. It's by the trail and not the stream. I was wondering why I couldn't find it when we were looking for it at one point, but that would be why we were a little offset in the area we needed to be. Now, the one problem we're having right here is I'm pretty sure all of these crossings are fairly flooded. And we have a mule deer fawn that we want to get across, so I think if we go over here and then get as close as we can and then jump, hopefully, nope, we are very not going to get that back, huh? Probably not. Nope. All right. Well, that's a mule deer fawn. I was hoping to bring it back for the babies. Better than what it could have been, but disappointing nonetheless. Okay, we're just about back at the den here, and uh, we have completely run out of energy, pretty much. Uh, in fact, we, we, yeah, we definitely are very out of energy. Fortunately, I think the pups should be pretty well fed if we just feed them a little bit here. We should be fine, and we did mark the territory. That one is outside the world border, so yeah, that's just chilling there, I guess. There's nothing we can do about it, but... Overall, things should be a lot better, and we should be a lot better with the flea load, and I don't trust that eagle. I don't trust that eagle. Is that a bald eagle, or is that... That might be a bald eagle. I'm, I'm a little bit sus. It hasn't come for us, though, so maybe it's fine. But I think we're going to go ahead and let the pups eat, and we'll play with them a bit, and then we're going to sleep because we are extremely tired, 
and uh, we need to start preparing to head to the rendezvous site. It's not quite time. If you look here, you can see that Finch is still 12.9, so 13 pounds pretty much, and we need everybody to be 15 before we're ready to leave. So we've got a little bit left, but uh, not a whole lot, uh, and I think after we sleep, that's going to be even more... Um, that, that, that difference is going to go down a bit. <laughs> well, what do you know? The floods have gone down. It's too bad that we didn't find that mule deer fawn today. Although, you know, I wonder, what are the odds that it's still down there? What are the odds that it's still down there? Ton, stay with the pups. I'm going to do an experiment. All right, it was somewhere in this area that we were trying to cross. I think it was like right up about, oh, along the bend of the creek. Actually, it was right off this sandbar, wasn't it? Was this it? This was it, wasn't it? I think it might have been. It was an area like that at the very least. I'm just curious if there's any chance that it's still here. It's probably not. Most likely not. No, I don't think we were this far. I think it was that little area right there, but I do not see the carcass, so either something fished it out or it floated away, I think. Uh, unfortunately, which is too bad because that would have been a nice little snack. However, I did happen to find on the way uh, another um, elk mother. Yeah, even if we swim over here, doesn't look like there's anything to be found. So, uh, unfortunately, that's completely gone. But there is an elk mother nearer to the den, so I'm going to go ahead and bring back uh, her, her calf for the pups because they're pretty hungry this morning. Oh, there's one right here, too. We can get food for ourselves as well. Oh, right here. Let's go ahead and snag it. We're actually going to eat this because I'm pretty sure there's still another one over here and I don't want to have to haul it all the way back by myself. Well, there was a mother, but she's not here anymore, so I guess I'm going to go looking again and find something else to bring back. However, a lot of the territory over here is decaying, so it kind of works out. It's not the hugest deal in the world. I'm going to actually remark a lot of this. Oh, I guess that... Is that some post in this text? No, that's a different one. Um, I'm gonna remark a lot of this stuff and uh, try to find another one. Usually when you're down here, especially after the flood season ends, uh, there's almost always something to, something to hunt. So we shouldn't have a hard time finding something else to bring back, I don't think. And the pups aren't horribly hungry yet, uh, just around 60%, which is not great, but it could be a lot worse. Well, there's a regular elk herd around here, but I haven't seen too many babies. Just one's off in the hills where I don't want to go hecking around. Who are you? Oh, it's the dispersals again. Oh, is this mother and baby elk? Okay, this is a little bit better. Where did you put your baby? I'm going to bring it back for mine. Oh, right here. And there we go. All right, that'll be fine. I just need to mark a few more of these hexes. In fact, we should put the scent post for this one somewhere over here so that it's nice and easy to access. And then we're just gonna run really far in the other direction really quickly, or not really far. Actually, no, we don't need to. That's part of the area we can leave. Okay, we're fine then. We will, uh, we'll just bring this back to the pups. Wait a second, is that a whole bear hunting elk? What the heck? What the heck was that? Oh, there's a carcass. There's a carcass. There's a bear, but there's a carcass. What in the world? Is there any food on the carcass? Oh. Well, if y'all are leaving, don't mind me. Oh, there's a little bit left here, yeah. This might actually not be a bad place to call Ton over to. We'll have him come and get some food, and then I'll bring back this uh, this calf for the puppies. Oh, right, we made it back with the calf. Hopefully this will be enough food for the pups to do pretty well for a bit. They are quite hungry, though, so we might have to also feed them, but that's fine, because both Ton and, and Cassia are full on food. So we should be okay. Uh, and we're probably gonna have to head down to that rendezvous site out there in just a bit Probably in the next episode as you can see Finch is about to hit 14 pounds Which is when it the game will tell us we need to start scoping out rendezvous sites, but we've already kind of done that so uh, Yeah, we just need to worry about getting ourselves there and after we sleep we will probably be pretty darn close 
But with that, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.